guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we are going to be doing a fun colorful summery nail set i was really in the mood for something really colorful and also maybe just a little bit of nail art i say that now but when i'm doing the nail art i know i'm going to be like regretting my decisions so here's the nail inspiration for today what a beautiful set i just really wanted this set so we're going to do that today so what we're going to need for the poly gels is just a nude poly gel. I'm using this one from Macart. It's a very light, soft, nude pink. And then we're also going to need a light blue. Next, we're going to be needing a few gel polishes. So I have a lot of bright colors here. Neon yellow, neon green, hot pink, a light blue, dark blue, and also an orange. And this is going to be used to do the nail art. Okay, first I have these pearls. Now, besides the pearls, there's only like two other pieces of nail decoration on the set. And I have all this because I don't know which one to choose. So I have these three butterfly charms i also have these butterflies and then i have these sugared stars these pearl charms and i also have these the one that i would pick would be this blue heart but yeah a lot of nail decoration options when i only need two things we'll see when we get to that point though okay so this is pretty much all we're gonna need let's just get right into this nail set so here are my natural nails they're doing okay i just need to clean around the cuticle and just make sure that there's no product stuck there Okay, now I'm just going to trim off any excess dead skin. Okay, next I'm going to work this fine grit sanding band around the cuticle area. This really helps to clean up any of the dead skin that might be stuck to the nails that I can't really get up with like the cuticle pusher. Okay, my nails are lightly filed over. Now I'm going to add on a peel off base coat. So I'm just using some cuticle oil and some top coat to make a DIY one. And I'm just using a peel off base coat because I always take my nails off like one or two days after I do them. There's really no point in doing proper nail prep so that they last when I'm just gonna take them off anyways. And also I'd rather have an easier way to take them off as well because removing poly gel like the regular way can take so long. Okay, once I have a little amount of cuticle oil on all the nails, Nails. I'm just going to add on a layer of top coat over all of them. Okay, now let's glue on some nail tips. I'm using some not polished nail tips and I'm just going to get sizing these out. All right, so I have all the nail tips. Now I'm going to glue them on with some base coat and my UV flashlight. Okay, so nail tips are all glued on now. Next, we're just going to trim them down. So I am gonna do these kind of short for me. This is like pretty short. I'm just gonna cut off the number basically. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to reshape the nail tips. I'm going to file in these little parts of the tip that poke out and also just file the sides a little and make sure that the tip of the nail is straight. All right, next step, we're going to be removing the shine from the nail tips. Okay, nail tips are all done. Now we're going to add on a layer of base coat. Okay, nail prep is done, nail tips are done. Now let's get into this poly gel application. So I'm gonna take my nude poly gel and on the pointer finger, this is gonna be a French tip. So I'm just gonna start off by putting a bead of this poly gel at the cuticle area. And I'm just going to push this back towards the cuticle and kind of thinning it out. So that way we don't have a lot, like too much product right at the cuticle area. I'm just going to build this up into that rounded, long, skinny shape. Ok, 
Okay, I'm done with this part now. I was able to do it kind of quickly, so I'm just gonna take that and cure it. It does have some bubbles in it, like really tiny ones, but I can't really do anything about that. Yeah, here's how it looks. All right, once this part is cured, I'm going to wipe off that sticky layer, and I'm gonna take my hand file and just reshape this part just to make sure it's nice and crisp. All right, once I have this part shaped, I'm just gonna take this light blue color, which we're gonna put at the tip of the nail. So I'm just gonna put a bead of this at the tip and also some near the sides and i'm gonna get smoothing this out i usually start on the sides of the nails like bringing the poly gel down to this corner here Okay, here's how the French tip looks. I love these two colors together, like this nice soft pink with the light blue. It looks so, this is so cute. But now I'm just going to cure this. Okay, and now all the other nails are just going to be a full nail of this nude color. I hope I have enough. I didn't realize that I was running out of this color this quickly. I thought I had another bottle of this, but I guess not. But I'm sure it should be enough. I'm just gonna do these nails in two beads. Even though it might take a little bit longer, that's just how I usually like to do it. Um, So I just start at the tip of the nail and I'm just gonna get smoothing this out. One thing I don't like is that when you get to the bottom of the tube, like there's a lot more bubbles at the bottom. And that's where I'm at. I'm at the bottom of the tube and there's a lot of bubbles. <laughs> Okay, so I have the tip of the nail done. Sadly, there are, I don't know if you can tell because they're really small, but there's some bubbles down there. I'm hoping that the next layer that I put over it will like cover that up. I'm sure it will. So I'm just gonna cure this. I am pretty excited to add on the nail art. I'm just excited to finish the set because I'm like excited to see the outcome. Even though I know the nail art is probably gonna take a while, I'm just like excited to do it. Okay, next nail is done. I really love this color. I've been using that other nude poly gel, this one, a siesta for a while, and I just like started using this one, and I really like this color. It's just so soft and cute. I definitely recommend this color if you haven't tried it. Okay, so the structure of the nail is not very good. You always want to try and build up poly gel around here where the natural nail and the tip of the nail meet, but I wasn't able to keep the poly gel there. So I'm just going to add another small bead right at that point. I'm just going to push a little bit of it to the cuticle, but I'm just going to take most of it and like pat it in place just to smooth it out because I want it to stay in this spot, but obviously I want it to be, you know, smoothed over the nail. And I'm just going to blend this out. Okay, I think that's a little better. So I'm gonna cure this layer. Okay, on to the next nail. Once again, gonna be doing the same thing. Gonna be adding poly gel at the tip of the nail. I'm adding a little bit extra so that I can bring more of it kind of at the cuticle rather than only at the tip.
Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after all the poly gel is on. Once again, I love this color. It's just such a cute color. I love it. But I just have my Macar Dust Collector and a hand file, and we're going to get reshaping these nails. <laughs> Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after they have been shaped. So I just have all my colors here and a dotting tool and also a nail art brush. So I'm just gonna get my colors laid out on this mixing plate. Okay, so here's all our colors, really cute, really summery and neon and bright. So we're gonna start with the easy nails because I, I need a warm up, you know? Let's start on the pointer finger. This one is gonna be like, not really cow print, but just kind of like the colors in different blobs. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing because there's actually one color that I don't have and that's like a light pink, but not too light. See, just like a little bit of a lighter pink. Let's just make some blobs on this nail. Okay, so here's how the nail looks. I'm gonna go and cure this. Now I'm going to move on to the pinky nail, which is pretty much the same design as this one, but it's covering the whole nail. And it also uses some of the other colors, so like the blues and this hot pink. Okay, so these two nails are done. So I think the next easiest nail is gonna be the thumbnail. I'm just gonna do the wavy lines and like make them layered of the different colors. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this first color.
I really love these colors together. These are so cute. So on to the last two nails. We're gonna do the ring finger. I feel like the ring finger is a little bit easier than the middle finger. So let's do that. So I'm basically just doing something like this wavy layered lines, but I'm gonna try and fill a lot of the nail up. Honestly, I don't know what to tell you guys. This nail art took me so so long the time lapse of this nail art is even long usually when i speed up parts of my video you know i edit them down as much as i can and i really tried to edit this part to make it as short as i could but it's still really long so that kind of shows you how long the nail art took me in regular time it's just pretty hard to make each of the lines perfectly like a good thickness and make them all straight and make sure all the edges are nice and crisp and also i cured between each layer of color because obviously i didn't want to mess up the layer before a new color so you know curing each layer just took so long and i did use the reference picture but still planning out the different shapes of each wavy line was like a lot of work too so yeah this nail art did take me a really long time but i did really like the outcome of it so it's it was worth it and i also always have trouble with like every time i do nail art or i put gel polish over my nail like i always feel like the sides of it become too thick i feel like with this nail art like the sides look even and straight still so you know what i mean like because sometimes the gel polish will be a little bit thick and then if you look at the sides of the nails it'll just look a little bit bumpy because of the gel polish but i feel like this nail turned out really like still crispy and nice Okay, so here's how this nail turned out. I love this type of nail art, but it just takes so long having to do each layer and then curing each layer. It can take a little bit of a long time, but it looks so cute. So on to the next one. This one's gonna be just kind of more like separate wavy lines. And now moving on to the next nail. This one I feel like is the hardest one. That's why I saved it for last because I have to make each of these lines like their own line, like they're not touching or anything. So I felt like that's pretty hard because you know, you have to make sure that the thickness of each line is correct and you have to make sure that all the wavy lines are crisp because they're not touching each other so you know you have to worry about both sides of the line and so i felt like this was the hardest nail to do i would say the middle finger and the ring finger took the same amount of time like a really long time i don't really remember which one was quicker to do but they're both pretty detailed designs so yeah it did take me a long time After I was done with those two nails, I went back to the thumbnail and decided to add on some more wavy lines because I just felt like it looked a little bit empty. So in like the corners, I added just some more details and I feel like it really finished off the nail and I feel like it added just what it needed.
Okay, all the nail art is done and I'm really happy with how this is looking. When the nails were plain, obviously it just wasn't as nice as this. I love this. So in the inspiration picture for the nail decorations that they put on the nails, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I thought I was gonna be using this stuff or these butterflies, but these charms just got delivered. I feel like they would look really cute on this. So I picked some out. I feel like these two are gonna look really good and we're still gonna use the pearls on the middle finger. So let me actually do the pearls first and then we'll put on the other decorations Okay, so i'm just gonna adhere these pearls with some top coat and I made sure to wipe off the nail art Because when you cure gel polish sometimes they leave behind like a sticky layer over them And I want to make sure that no lint was stuck on the nail art so that when we top coat We're not gonna have any lint in there. So i'm gonna give a nice generous layer because some of these like wavy lines are a little bit thick and i want to make the top coat as even as i can get it but i really love this nail art this nail art took me um i'm not gonna lie it took me like three hours it's just having to do each individual layer and i have to cure each layer in between i'm sure that you could probably not do that at least for this nail but like i have to cure each thing i do because i'm scared that i'm gonna mess it up and i'll just have to keep redoing it and that did happen happen a couple times okay so i'm just gonna get adding on the pearls i wish i had a smaller size like there's three sizes here i wish i had a smaller one but that's okay okay nice i like the pearls i think they look kind of funky <laughs> these are the decorations that i want to put on here i don't know but i really like how they look and then there's this one with the pearl in the middle which i thought like you know because it like matches i feel like it's good this one's like the statement piece though okay so i'm just gonna adhere those gems with some top coat <laughs> okay moving on to the pinky we're going to add on this charm Okay, so all the nail decoration is on. Now we're just going to top coat the last two nails. Okay, now let's add on some cuticle oil. Here how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I am very very happy with this nail set. I did film this video like a while ago. I filmed it in the beginning of June, so it's kind of an old video, but I just really love this design and I love how the nails turned out, so I just had to post it. Like, I couldn't just let this video go because sometimes if I ever do a nail set and I don't edit it, like, I'll just probably never edit it and it just will never get posted. But this one, I love this one too much. This nail set was so pretty and so fun. The nail art was challenging, yes, but I feel like it turned out so good. Would you consider this a summer nail set? I don't know, but it's really colorful and, you know, summery, colorful, you know, they kind of go together. Also, let me know in particular what you guys think of that blue heart charm on the pointer finger. I like the blue charm, but I don't know if it really fits. I feel like it fits. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Also, let me know which nail is your favorite. I feel like my nail is probably the ring finger nail. That one took me so long and I really like how that turned out. I also really like the middle finger with the pearls on it. Like, I don't know. I like both of them. Which one is your favorite? Let me know. But that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!